Well, hello again. Don Connor here. Delighted to have your company. And today, as you can see, we're going to draw some frogs. Spring is in the air, and we know that when we hear the bird song, it's lovely. Uh, but the frogs, they croak a lot this time of the year. The male trying to impress the females, and all the males are croaking, and the females go, <laughs> quite nice. <laughs> In Ireland, we only have one type of frog. That's called the common frog. There's different types in, in Britain and other parts of the world. But in Ireland, we have the common frog and the natterjack toad. Now, just to begin on how to make the shapes very quickly, because it's a little bit complicated. But what we'll do is we'll start off again, roughly like an egg shape, like that and then another egg shape, roughly like that. And then we put a line high up like this, and that's where the eyes will be. Down here, roughly where the mouth will be. We can indicate where the feet will be. And the hind legs like this. And then roughly the, the lily pot. Now, do another quick one over here, again, egg shape, oval shape, whatever you like. Uh, a little line across like this, where the eyes would be, roughly indicate them. Uh, another egg shape like that. And just here is where the, the, the arms come out. And again, the legs at the back there, the hind legs. And again, we're going to be drawing a few little water lilies and same on the other side like that. So we just roughly indicate where we want them to be. Now we're getting ready to draw. Now again, uh, sometimes if you want to, especially slightly complicated drawings like this, you might need to pencil it out first. Once you get the shape and you're happy with them, then off you go. So I'm going to start high up like this. I'm going to put a curve like this. Same like, just beside it like that. And then we put what looks almost like, uh, we say a lemon shape. <laughs> and same on the other side. We just stop it at that point. And then we put in the pupil, a big black pupil like this. It's amazing this time of the year, the female, she will lay up to, are you ready for this? A thousand eggs, maybe two thousand. And the males will eventually come and mate up. And what happens is, if you're lucky enough to see some what's called frog spawn, and it's like these little black dots, and they're all connect, connected together in this kind of jelly substance. And you may ask yourself, where were the frogs uh, all through the winter? Well, they were actually hibernating, and usually at the bottom of a pond. So we've we, we put a little curve like that, and then we have our shape. And now we bring this line right off like this, over across there, to draw the back of the frog. And I'm just using a, a crayon here. And then we put, we go down here, we draw the underbelly like this. And then the, bi the big hind legs at the back, we start with a curve like that, off we go. We bring it back around like that, down like this. And they have very, very long feet. <coughs> Excuse me. You know, the, uh, we, when we think of frogs, we tend to think of frogs as being green, you know, which they are, um, most of them. But in fact, uh, the common frog tends to look more brown. And in, in of course, the bright light, uh, you, you can see all the other lovely colors that's on it. So now we go down here, 
draw a line like this, a line like that, a line like this, a line like that. Keeping it very simple, and then we indicate the front arms. And the same on the other side. So it's like, it's kind of like that. Yeah. And don't worry too much if you don't get these things right the first time. It's all a little bit, bit of practice. Practice makes perfect, as they say. <laughs> I'm still practicing. <laughs> so we'll jump over here now and we draw the other one. So we start off high up like this. And then we bring this line down like this, around like that. And the nice eyes. Of course, uh, in a cartoon, obviously we're changing. Normally the eye, well, one eye be looking that direction, the other eye be looking that. But in the cartoon, I have them both looking at you. <laughs> and that's, that's the fun of it. And a bit of a smile. And this is the place where you hear the sound come, yeah, they kind of blow this out like a, like a little balloon to make the sound and that. Now these poor creatures are very vulnerable to uh, pollution, especially of water, and a lot of drainage, when, a lot of drainage went on uh, in recent times, uh, say in farms and stuff like that. And these creatures suffered. And then lucky enough, People start putting ponds in their back garden and lo and lo and behold, it started attracting a lot of creatures, including frogs. And the simplest way to tell the difference between a frog and a toad is that toads tend to walk while the frog likes to hop along. So that's just roughly how you draw it, and I'm just going to indicate some beautiful water lilies in the far east. They're known as the lotus flower. And uh, beautiful, beautiful. So if you're out for a walk and near streams, ponds, uh, lakes. Have a listen out and have a look out for these creatures. But obviously, be very careful around water. You know, we don't want any accidents, do we? No. But anyway, these wonderful creatures uh, are always a joy to see, and it's great to see them popping into your garden and that. So I've got that shape now, and what I'm going to do now, uh, I'll let you do all the colouring later on. But I just wanted to work out exactly how you draw the frogs and you can do them your own special way. So I'll end up by putting back the original one. So there, there it is all finished. Anyway, it's always a pleasure having your company. And until the next time, do take care and uh, stay creative. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you wish.